do you know that you were born with an inbuilt GPS? Yeah, an inner GPS that is giving you directions all the time. I'm Fernanda from the Do What You Love Revolution and today I want to show you how to use this very special gadget that you were born with. Here's the thing, all of us have an inner GPS, but most of us don't even know about it. So I'm here to tell you that you have one and how you can use it. Your inner GPS can be especially useful for you at times that you don't know what to do. You're feeling stuck you have no idea what the next step to take. That's the time you can use your inner GPS and it works every time. You might have heard of intuition or follow your heart or I have this feeling that I should call that person or I just thought of that person out of the sudden they call me. This is all your inner GPS working. Until you decide to follow your inner GPS guidance it will constantly give you a feeling of discomfort. A feeling of, mm, I just feel like I'm out of place. Actually, you are out of place. You might be following someone else's route and it doesn't work to follow someone else's route because each one of us have our own inner GPS with our own unique route. So I want you to be very conscious about this fancy device and I wanna show you how to use it. The first step is be aware you have one. You can't actually use something if you don't know it's there for you to use. So first step, be aware you have an inner GPS. Number two, test it. Start testing your inner GPS. And I'm not even telling you to trust it straight out of the gate. I understand it might take some time for you to get used to it and trust it with the big decisions of your life. So I start with the little things. When you have an inspi inspiration and inspired guidance, something that comes to your mind out of the blue, you start taking actions according to it. You start with the little ones. Someone pops into your mind, call them. You have an idea to cook something for dinner, do that. It, just test it, just go slowly and just start noticing what happens. You might even want to write on a journal the things that showing up for you and how your inner GPS is working. The third step is tuning to your inner GPS. What do I mean by that? If you're in the car and your GPS is on and the music is very loud or the people talking inside the car and all the windows are closed, you can't actually hear the directions that are being given to you. So it's important that you train yourself to be able to silence the outside noise or at least turn it down a little bit. So you're able to listen to the inner guidance and that means different things for each one of us. It can be going for a walk, it can be running at the park, it can be having contact with the nature, it can be petting your dog, cooking a nice meal, calling a very good friend, it will come in different ways and a very powerful way to connect to it is meditation. So after you are able to do these three steps, so just be aware that you have inner guidance, start testing it so you can build trust and the third is connecting and tuning into your inner GPS, that will show you every single step of the way. And the best thing is you can never be in the wrong way. You know, like when you're following your GPS, like the, the car GPS, and it tells you to turn right, and then you turn left, and it says, rerouting, 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 and then creates an alternate route. That exact same thing happens to you. So there's no way for you to get it wrong. You can never, ever get it wrong. If you are in a place that it's uncomfortable right now, or even painful, it's okay, you're in the right place and you need to go through whatever you're going through to find your way. So just trust the inner GPS. If you like this video, just hit like. And if you know anyone who needs to know about the inner GPS, share it with them. There's no point learning new things if we're not sharing it with other people. Lots and lots of love to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.